Here in Los Angeles, we've got three things in abundance. Cars, sunshine, and people. Lots of people. And one of the things they all have in common is they all need water. For washing their cars, for swimming in, and for the essential things like bathing, cooking, and of course drinking. And with nearly four million of us living inside the city limits, a lot of water is needed to keep everyone healthy and hydrated. The thing is, there's not much in the way of easily accessible drinking water where California lies. But through the years, Los Angeles has acquired through various means other sources of drinking water, and in one case, it even drained an entire valley. Here's our three-minute guide to how LA gets its water. First, let's talk about groundwater. It's what we call the water that is found between spaces that form in the rock below us. Since water always flows according to gravity, it finds its way down to these spots, waiting for someone to extract the water by drilling a well. It's a key source for LA and provides us with about a third of the water we need. Unfortunately, there are some areas where the groundwater is not the best quality. This is due to things such as pollution from aerospace companies that had lax chemical disposal methods between World War II and the Cold War. Federal government cleanup methods are remedying the situation, but even if we could use all our groundwater, it wouldn't be enough to support the current population. Another major source for Los Angeles drinking water is the Owens River Valley. The Los Angeles Aqueduct winds its way from the Sierra Nevada Range, siphoning the runoff from the Owens River and bringing it to northern Los Angeles. This source perhaps contains the most interesting backstory. Through a series of shady deals back in the early 1900s, Los Angeles water utility officials were able to gain access to the Owens River and diverted the water from under the noses of farmers in the Owens River Valley. The audacity of LA's water grab is seen, depending on who you talk to, as either a necessary move to ensure the young city's growth or as a heartless big city insult to Owens Valley farmers. To this day, there remain tensions between the two parties whenever the issue is brought up. Since, thanks to the dust storms due to lack of water, environmental damage caused by the siphoning of the once fertile valley is most likely irreparable. Finally, there's water that comes from outside our state borders. The Colorado River carries a huge amount of fresh water, which is divided between several states, including California. But it took Los Angeles water officials a good part of the 1930s to complete their master plan for delivering river water to L.A., the Colorado River Aqueduct. It remains a sophisticated 250-mile network of pipes, pumps, tunnels, and canals that transport enough water to serve 18 million customers in Los Angeles, as well as nearby Orange, San Diego, Riverside, San Bernardino, and Ventura counties. So there you have it, a basic rundown of LA's sources of drinking water. And next time you fuss with a faucet, think about all the time and manpower invested in making sure your cup gets filled.